Material clips are another device I have a love-hate relationship with. They rank right up there with bobbin cradles on the aggravation scale. Combine that with the fact that you only need them for certain flies, and you have a tool that often sits forgotten, even when it's needed and would prove helpful. I had been tying for a long time before I bought a material clip. I've owned a lot of vices since then and I've put a material clip on every one. Once you work with material clips and work them into your tying, they become the third hand that you so often need to hold materials. Their purpose is exactly that, to be a third hand. Holding materials out of the way and keeping those materials ready for your use. You know those things that must be tied in before you build the body, things like loop guards, ribs, and body wraps? That's what that third hand is ready to hold. You can tame those unruly materials, and for the most part, it's a pretty trouble-free operation. You simply spread the spring, put the material in place, and let the spring close on the material. The spring will hold the material in place while you wrap and tie. The problem comes when you want to hold something small. People often find that while it's easy to put thin wire or narrow tinsel into a material clip, it's often hard to keep it there. Here's a little trick I use to help with those hard to hold materials. I cut a small section of foam and use it as a filler by placing it in the material clip before I put small materials in. I found this to be so handy I seldom take the foam out. I just leave it there for the next time I need to tie in small stuff. Or I grab my Rinzetti Master Vice, which has a unique hideaway material clip. It grips small materials reliably, consistently, and securely every time. Whichever material clip you have, the Master Vice hideaway or the snap-on clip that fits presentation in Traveler Series Vices, I'm sure you'll come to value it and find it to be the handiest system that it is. Thank you for watching.